we are interested in getting the value of A and B. Now, to do this, I'm going to say, let this be our first equation, and this is going to be our second equation. So the first thing to do is to subtract equation 1 minus equation 2. And by doing that here, we're going to have A squared minus B squared equals to b minus a plus 73 minus 73 so what i did was to do, uh, subtract column wisely okay so here i'm gonna have a squared minus b squared equals to b minus a why because 73 minus 73 is gonna be zero now, looking at the left-hand side here, I can use the difference of two squares. And using the difference of two squares, I'm going to have A plus B, A minus B. Okay? And the one on the right-hand side, you can factor out negative sign. And here I'm going to have A minus B, which looks more interesting. Now, from here, don't divide. So what we're just going to do is to move the right-hand side to the left-hand side. So here I'm going to have A plus B, A minus B plus A minus B equals to zero. So this is what we've got. Now from here, you can see that A minus B is, to, is common to both sides. So let's factor that out. A minus B factored out. And in the parentheses here, we're going to have a plus B and here we have one left which is equals to zero now we have two factors so here recall from the beginning that our a is not equals to B this is the condition given to us so here we have a minus B equals to zero and here we have a plus B plus one equals to zero so here, a minus b is not equal to 0. So here, our a is not equal to b. That is, this is not true. Okay. But as for this, here you can say that a plus b equals to negative 1. This equation is very important. I'm going to call this equation 3. I'm still coming back to this equation because we're going to use it very soon. Now, we have equation 1 to 3. Now, the next is to add our equation 1 plus equation 2. By writing the two given equation, recall that we have equation 1 to be a squared equals b plus 73. And um, equation 2 is b squared equals to a plus 73. Now, adding these two together, here I'm going to have a squared plus b squared equals to b plus a plus 73 plus 73 so this is what we've gotten so here we're gonna have a squared plus b squared equals to a plus b plus 146 so from here we can Further simplify this as a squared plus b squared equals to, let's go back to equation 3. You can see that a plus b is equals to negative 1 in equation 3. So I'm going to plug in negative 1 to replace a plus b here, plus 146. So here I'm going to have a squared plus b squared equals to 145. I'm going to call this equation 4. Now, recall that from equation 3, I have a plus b equals to negative 1. Okay? So, in this, looking at this equation 3, squaring both sides, I'm going to have a plus b squared equals to negative 1 squared. If you factor out this left hand side here, I'm going to have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, which is equals to 1. 
which makes a nice equation. Now, from equation 4, we have that a squared plus b squared is 145. That is, a squared plus b squared is going to give us 145 equals to 2 plus 2ab equals to 1. So here, I'm going to have 2ab equals to 1 minus 145. So here, I'm going to have 2ab equals to negative 144. Now, the next to do is to divide both sides by the coefficient of AB, which is 2. Which is 2. So here I have my AB to be equals to negative 72. This is going to be my equation 5. Or before I make this to be equation 5, I can say my B equals to negative 72 over A. Let's make this to be equation now we've gotten B actually not a real answer for B but, but proceeding from here from equation 3 if you go back to equation 3 we have our equation 3 to be A plus B equals to negative 1 and this is going to be A recall that B is negative 72 over A so I'm going to plug that in equals to negative 1. So here I'm going to have my a to be negative 1 or simplifying the left hand side okay simplifying this left hand side here you can just find the LCM which is a here you have your a squared minus 72 which is negative 1. So this is by cross multiplying we have a squared minus 72 equals to negative a. Rewriting this given equation here, I'm going to have my a squared plus a minus 72 equals to 0. Solving this quadratically, okay, by looking at two factors, 72, we have two factors, which is 9 and 8. Okay, now to get the negative, that is, 9 is going to be positive and 8 is going to be negative because 9 minus 8 is going to be plus 1. And um, ne plus 9 times negative 8 is going to be negative 72. So here I'm going to have my a squared plus 9a minus 8a minus 72 equals to 0. Now, analyzing this here, factoring out a, I'm going to have a plus 9. Now factor out negative 8, which is a plus 9 in the parentheses. So finally, here I'm going to have a plus 9, and here I have my a minus 8 equals to 0. So here I have a to be equals to negative 9, or my a to be equals to positive 8. Now, this is what I've gotten for the value of a. What about B? Recall that my B is negative 72 over A from equation 5. So here, my B is going to be negative 72 over negative 9. That is for case 1. Here, I'm going to have my B to be 8. And for case number 2, I can have my B to be negative 72 over 8. And this is going to be negative 9. Finally, for my a comma b, I have the two values to be negative 9. When a is negative 9, b is 8. And also, when a is 8, b is negative 9. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel see you next time